It's Miss Candy Black where candy is always in vogue and so that you stay in the know, go ahead and click the little button and subscribe wherever you are. And just in case you want to stay in touch with me because I don't know where you're going to be, you don't know where I'm going to be, you can go to MissCandyBlog.com and you can subscribe to my newsletter and always be in the know wherever I go, wherever you go. So today is Tuesday, the second day of the new year, 2017. I hope you had a good one. I hope it's going well for you. Let me just say, my washing machine broke. That's how I'm starting 2017. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's make it a little bit sweeter, though. Let's make the, the year sweeter. How about a candy review? Would you guys like to see a candy review? Let me know you'd like to see a candy review by tap, 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 tap on the screen and letting me know that you're listening to me out there. Yes. I see. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go go at it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Can you handle this? Okay, here it comes. I'm gonna get it. Walk into the room, candy first. Bam! Butter finger crisp is the candy I will be sharing with you this evening. Have you ever seen this before? Have you ever seen this before? Anybody? No, I'm seeing nose. Hey, Tim Tim. Hey, Tim Tim. What's up? So this is the new candy for 2017 by Butterfinger. It is Butterfinger Peanut Butter Crisp, it says, and no artificial flavors or colors. That's a big deal because Butterfinger is a Nestle product, and one of the things that was going on with Nestle for a while, especially in Germany, is that it had GMOs. Anybody know what a GMO is? GMO is a genetically modified organism. And Butterfinger and Nestle products had them for a while. So they weren't getting eaten in Germany, especially because Germany had a law, no GMOs. So this is a really big deal that Butterfinger and Nestle are now doing this with no artificial colors and flavors. So that's something that's of interest to me as I look at this candy bar. Now, the way they, ooh, it says that there's three pieces in here. It says enough to share. I don't know if they're making this smaller because this is the only one I've ever seen, so I picked it up. But there's three pieces in here so you can share. So that means if you and I were together, then I could be giving you this candy. That's not right. That's not right. I want to share it with you. We got to get together and we got to like eat the candy together one day. One day. One day. So anyway, this is looking like a wafer bar, like a Kit Kat, if you look at it. It has like wafers. And I can tell you that my mouth is watering. Sorry. I can tell you that having come back from Canada not too long ago, a lot of their candies are a wafer, like cookie candy thing. So I'm wondering if they're going to do well in Canada, if they're even going to have it in Canada. Hmm. All right. So let's, oh, wait. It says crispy wafers, delicious Butterfinger cream. It's going to have cream. Crunchy toffee pieces. What? Look at that. Can you see that? It's hard to see it, I know. That's why I read it to you. It has it there on the wrapper. I'm, late. I'm waiting to get into this. Let's see. Oh, it's easy to open by opening it, ripping it down. That is very Butterfinger-rific. When I smell it, it smells like a Butterfinger. Hey, Alicia. Oh, my God. Let me show you. I am very excited by this. I'm going to take the whole piece out. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. One piece. One piece. And serving size is one package. There's 100 calories in one of these. Okay? It smells very Butterfinger-like. If you know what Butterfinger is, it's a peanut butter based candy bar that's flaky and has different layers in it. So this to me, this chocolate that I'm just looking at right now and showing you and sharing with you, it looks like it's shiny. It looks like there's a coat of wax on here. Um, so I'm very interested to see if what happens when I lick the candy bar. Here's why. If a candy bar has chocolate that's not so great, You'll, you won't be able to taste the actual chocolate right away. You'll taste a, like, there'll be like a layer of wax. Hey, cake pop shop. There'll be a level of layer of wax that you have to lick through till you get to the taste of the chocolate. 
So I'm gonna t put my tongue to this. Where can you get it? I got it at ShopRite. So I'm finding things at ShopRite that other places don't have, but I know not, not, not all of you are in the US, not all of you have ShopRites. So you can email the company, I'm sure. I'm sure they have social. They didn't put it on their package. Why don't you tweet Butterfinger and ask them where you can get Butterfinger Crisp. So um, I'm gonna lick this. I'm expecting this not to be, is this a retape? You're live right now. Um, you wanna be a yes during your view. <laughs> okay. When they have the new technology on Periscope, we can do that. Um, I'm going to lick this, and I'm going to bet you that that I'm not going to get to taste the chocolate. So here goes. Little while. It took a little while to get through it, but... It's waxy. It's not a creamy chocolate. It's not a satisfying chocolate. It's like just kind of their chocolate flavoring, okay? So that was that. Now I'm gonna bite off a piece. Thank you for the trees and stuff you're sending me and the snowflakes I, and the hearts. I, I really appreciate it because that means you're listening and watching and enjoying, so that means a lot to me, thank you. Let me try and bite off a piece of this chocolate. Now, I just bit that and look, look, look what, what happened inside. It's not very deep in the chocolate, okay? Um, the Butterfinger wafer starts right there, and it's a soft wafer. Why is Instagram misbehaving? Uh, it's a soft wafer, so it's really, I wanna just bite this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna bite this, and I wanna get in there, see what it's really like. I'm just gonna spit it out. But okay, this is really interesting. Let me tell you why. Ready? Let me take a drink first. Okay. So this is what it looks like inside. I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see it better. Okay. Okay. So when I bit this, it was soft, not not mushy, not gushy, just soft when I ate it, when I bit through it. Um, so it's a soft cookie, that's one thing. The other thing is, you get the Butterfinger peanut buttery taste in the, uh, in the cookie. You get the Butterfinger taste. But then what happens, then what happens is there's a little bit, these little, little teeny pieces of toffee and the teeny pieces of toffee are this, like crunchy. So you have this soft cookie, and then you have this crunchy stuff like very sporadically spread out <clears throat> through the candy. And here's the thing, they're salty. The toffee pieces are salty. So you have this mouthful of peanut butter that's sweet, chocolate that's sweet. They said there's cream in here. I don't get the cream, but I got salt. I got crunchy salt. So when you saw me make this face, that's what I was going through. And I was really debating whether or not to spit it out. Because I don't know if you know, but I don't do this to eat the candy. I do this to taste the candy, to share the candy with you, to tell you if you should buy it, you should waste your money and your time and your calories on it. This one has, this is a weird experience um, for all the reasons that you've seen me talk about. The chocolate's waxy, it's a soft cookie. Uh, it's butter, peanut buttery, but then it's got these little teeny chunks that's in there of, should you buy this? I don't know. If you want to experience what I just experienced, you're more than somebody says to me, should we buy this? If you want to, if what you hear me saying sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please feel free to buy it. I'm not going to tell you to buy it or not to buy it. That's not my job. Um, but I wanted to share this with you. So, so if you've just joined and you don't know what in the world I'm babbling about, I'm talking about the new Butterfinger candy bar, Butterfinger Crisp, which it's very, very interesting. And um, when you talk about the way things feel in your mouth, we call it the mouth feel. So this is a very strange sensation uh, to go on in your mouth. And then the, your taste buds are having this like dance of like sweet and peanut butter and then like 
salty. So it's very, hi Dr. Giggles. It's just very, very interesting. So that's the candy I wanted to share with you tonight. I really, really appreciate being here. Make sure to go over to my YouTube channel, Ms. Candy Blog, and you can subscribe, like, and share there. Or follow me on any social platform, because I'm everywhere. Candy kisses. I will talk to you soon. Have a good night.